What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my new series, Photoshop for Beginners. In this series, I will take you through different aspects and parts of Photoshop, how to do different things within Photoshop, um, all for beginners. I've only been using Photoshop for two months, so if I can make some pretty good quality thumbnails and uh, wallpapers and banners and logos, then you should definitely be able to too. So just stay tuned and let's get this series kicked off. So the first, um, the first part of this series, I'm gonna cover thumbnails. Thumbnails are what you can use on YouTube um, for your videos. If you wanna use custom thumbnails, it'll definitely attract more viewers to your channel and it looks really, really good. So let's start out by opening up Photoshop um, the first thing you're going to do is you're obviously you're going to click new because we're going to do a new project here. I'm just going to do this. Um, let's, I'm just going to do this thumbnail since this is what we're working on. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can have presets, but don't even worry about that. This is for beginners only. So let's do some beginner shit. All right. So let's do the width. Let's do the width 1280 and the height is 720. Now this is your going to be your resolution for thumbnails. They're in 720p. So make sure you do 1280 by 720 I do my resolution as 300 um, I'd stick with 300 if I were you it's just the easiest to work with and just leave all this other shit as you see it and it should be pretty default so after you do that you're gonna click OK so after you click OK you're gonna wanna figure out what you wanna do so um, what you can do is you can go to Google and you can uh, find out some some wallpapers that are 7, 12, uh, 1280 by 720 and you can slap them on there as your uh, thumbnail but I like to uh, I like to use colors so let's make a color um, let's see here we're just gonna click this square to make a background um, let's do what I haven't done let's do a red how about that let's do a, a darker red so after you got your square and you picked your color, just kind of drag it over the square. And you can see that your color pops up. And just put that over there. And get rid of this layer. I don't know why it popped up with a new layer, but hey, this is beginner shit. Let's do this. So you have your first layer, you have your background, and you really want to think about what you're, what you're trying to uh, aim. Like, what's your target audience? Make big letters, make small letters. What do you want to do? So I like to use big letters and really make fonts pop out. <clears throat> and that's another thing we really need to uh, talk about are fonts. So fonts really can be eye-catching and they can also be very, very shitty. So what I'd like to do is I go to a website and the website is called thefont.com. I'm waiting for this bad boy to load. Let's see, come on, come on, the font. Come on, bro. Don't do me like that. Oh, wow. Alright, so what I like to do is I like to go to Defont. And Defont has a shit ton of fonts. It has all kind of fucking shit that nobody would use, too. Like, uh, calligraphy. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> but no, I like to use um, the comic fonts. They just kind of stand out. And uh, one of my favorites, as if you watch my videos, you can tell, is definitely Obelix Pro. I use that mainly for... Uh, all my thumbnails and logos and all the other shit. So just scroll down, find a uh, find a uh, text you like, and download it and install it. So we're back in Photoshop. I actually wasn't feeling the red. It looked it was way too bright for me. So I switched to this purplish blue. Kind of looks badass in my opinion. So so once you have your font and you have your wallpaper and you have your background, your color, or whatever else you got, we're gonna focus on. Um, the text and really making it pop out to your audience and your viewers and your subscribers or whatever else So let's add some text. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna click on new layer Then you're gonna go over and find the text button and simply select your font the, uh, the Whatever and your size so let's get started. I'm actually gonna work on the thumbnail um, For this video and you'll you would have already seen it, but let's work on it so I've selected my font and now we're just gonna play with it a little bit until we get it and see if it's right or not to our liking. So I'm gonna change the color up. 
uh, it's gonna be white so you can see it and I'm just gonna play with it and I'll show you how to um, how to center and everything else in a little bit so just get it kind of close to what you want and uh, now that we have our first um, text we're gonna dress it up a little bit so let's dress this text up we're gonna right click and then we're gonna go to blending options on the text so as you can see you have a shit ton of stuff you can do and you're probably gonna be overwhelmed at this point and think Photoshop's not for you but please watch it's super super simple I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and make it really 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 nice so the first thing I generally do is I just click on gradient overlay and when I click on that it already has the one I like it just kinda fades it out a little bit I really don't know but I think it looks good but you can definitely play with it and you can see you can you can do all kinds of stuff to it um, different colors and you can really make it what you want it to look like so I like uh, let's see what do I like here yeah. I like it a little bit like this so yeah that looks good um, we're gonna add a shadow to it shadows really make your text pop out as well as your pictures but we'll get into that in a little bit so I drag it my opacity all the way up to 100 and you just kinda play with your spread and your size a little bit until it looks until it looks uh, what you want it to be and I think that looks fine with me and I go up here to bevel and emboss and I click it one time and you can see it just kinda makes the text a little bit more 3D and you can also play with the settings but I just leave them because I like the way it looks so let's click OK with that and let's move on to the other text so let's add some more text I'm gonna drop the size down just a tad there we go we added our text there we are and we're just like I said we can always center it um, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a little bit so we got that and we're gonna do the same exact thing we just did so I'm gonna go to this add a drop shadow just kinda play with the spread a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect just make it uh, somewhat even and let's see add a gradient one time there we are that looks about right that looks good and let's see now we're gonna go for the Photoshop logo so for pictures what I do is we're gonna go to Photoshop logo but at the end of whatever you're searching put PNG PNG basically means that the picture's not gonna have a an ugly white background or anything like that and it's gonna make it just what the picture you need and it won't have a white background or anything like that so let's see I like this one this one looks good we're gonna go to view image and as you can see there's the Photoshop logo we're just gonna save it to our computer I have a, a whole folder for it and there we are we're gonna save it go back to Photoshop alright and then once you're in back in Photoshop you want to put your picture in let's go to file and place embedded okay go to your pictures find the one that you just downloaded here's mine resize it to your liking let's see I'm just gonna put it in the corner here try to get it as best as I can uh, let's see looks about right you can see it's kind of a crappy quality but you want to place this picture so we're gonna right click and we're gonna click place and you can see it dresses it up a little bit but I think that looks kinda of basic kinda of plain so what we're gonna do we're gonna right click on the picture just like the text we're gonna go to blending options and we're gonna add a little shadow to it and make it stick out a little more so let's mess around with the spread and the size a little bit I think that looks fine and click OK now wait I just noticed that this kinda looks like a little cram so let's click back on our text click it one time go over it a little bit and I think I'm gonna drop it down to about 20 there we are so let's change it a little bit and I'll show you how to um, to center it like I said like four fucking times already um, and the last thing we're gonna do I'm gonna add thumbnails so let's add another text one more time guys thumbnails oh, that's definitely how you spell thumbnails 
there we are thumbnails uh, kind of get it to where I want I'm gonna make this big not too big or else it won't fit let's see what does 30 look like uh, let's see let's make it 28 there we are fits just right there we go I think that looks good so we're gonna click on the layer and we're gonna dress it up a little again a little bit like we did earlier mess with the spread mess with the size what looks good oops that's why it was looking bad I think that looks good you gotta add my gradient to it there we are uh, let's see let's fix this fix this up a little bit more there we go now it's center with the picture and I think that looks pretty decent so we are going to actually you know what I think that's about it for me but let's go over some things you can possibly do um, as far as your your text goes I've showed you mainly um, all your blending options you can do bunches of stuff like look at all this shit you can do I mean you can do a lot of stuff just mess around with it and see if you like your text or not reposition some of your stuff um, but I personally just like it like that honestly so you can already tell that this is center just because of uh, of the line in the middle it's saying hey your center you're good to go as you can see um, that's not center obviously but yeah that, that's basically it I think I'm done there but that's pretty much it guys this has been episode one in my Photoshop for beginners series as you can definitely tell I'm a little bit more than a beginner but if I just started a month and a half ago then you guys can definitely make some pretty sweet looking thumbnails for your YouTube videos so if you'd like to see more in this series if you want to see anything else in Photoshop let me know and I'll definitely do my best to deliver that so have a good day and peace the fuck out